Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to solve quadratic equations when your first or leading coefficient is not equal to 1. So it could be 3, 4, 5 or any other number. First of all, right off the bat you want to rewrite your quadratic as a two sets of parentheses being multiplied together. Now, literally you are going to draw a huge x off to the side. Now, we are going to take the first or leading coefficient, it's basically the coefficient in front of x squared, it's 2 in this case, and we are going to take the last coefficient, or sometimes it's called the constant, which is negative 5, and we are going to multiply them together. So, 2 times negative 5. It's going to be negative 10, and we are going to place this negative 10 on top of your x. Now, the middle coefficient or the second coefficient in front of x goes on bottom of your x. Now, we are going to look for two numbers. We are going to find two numbers that multiply to negative 10. So, their product gets to negative 10 and they add up to 9. I'm going to make a list of all pairs of numbers that multiply to negative 10. I'm going to list all of options and we can rule them out later. It's going to be 1 and negative 10. We can flip the sign negative 1 and 10. Next one, it's going to be 2 and negative 5 and negative 2 and 5. So test to see which pair of these numbers satisfy the second requirement. So, 1 plus negative 10, it's negative 9, doesn't work, no. Minus 1 plus 10, it's 9. So, second requirement has been taken care of. So, we can assume the other options do not work. Now, you're going to place this negative 1 and 10 on both sides of your x. Doesn't matter, you can swap the sides. Now we are going to divide this negative 1 by the leading coefficient 2 and we are going to do precisely the same thing with 10. So we are going to divide 10 by the leading coefficient 2. Your simplified x becomes so minus 1 over 2. This fraction it's already in the simplest form so it remains the same. 10 over 2 simplifies to 5 over 1. So this is your simplified version of your x. Now we are going to fill out the gaps in the sets. This bottom number 2 from the first fraction goes as a coefficient in front of x for the first set of the parentheses. The top number negative 1 goes as a number, as a constant for the first set. The same, precisely the same thing applies for the second fraction. Bottom number 1 goes as a coefficient in front of x and the top number goes as a constant. Now, the order actually does not matter, you could swap the order. Now, let's clean it up. 2x minus 1 times x plus 5 equals to 0. Now, it comes down to solve this equation. All you want to do is just... Since you are given two factors being multiplied equal to zero, you want to pull them down below, split them up, set each of the factors equal to zero, and you want to solve them separately down below. So 2x minus 1 equals zero. This is basically an equation for x. So remember, we want to get your x along by moving everything away from x. So Bring this negative 1 to the right side by adding 1 to both sides of your equation. In the next line of your work, you will have 2x equals positive 1. And in order to get x, you want to divide both sides of this equation by 2. You end up getting just x equals a half. This is going to be your first solution or the first answer to your quadratic. And we are going to solve the second one separately. So... Basically, we are going to do the same steps. So, we want to move this 5 to the right side, 
by subtracting 5 from both sides of your equation. Remember what you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. Bring down the x and you end up getting x equals negative 5. This is your second solution for your equation. Remember that your quadratic equation always have two solutions. So always you end up getting two answers. You could also check them out by substituting them back into your original equation and see if it works. Now also you can check out your factorization by multiplying and foiling everything out. 